flipped. Mm -hmm. All right, we're trying this again. Hopefully we'll be right side up this time. Um, so I am back with a live update and I'm here with Jay Pickett and we are actually in Idaho where Jay's from and we have been working on Treasure Valley, our new movie. We're gonna talk about that. Yeah. I want you to share a little bit about your background before we get into our work together. What can you can you tell people kind of just some of your background here, both here and yeah. how you got into acting and producing? Yeah, yeah. I uh, I grew up here in Idaho. Um, went to Boise State. I studied theater at Boise State. I come from a Western family of cowboys and. Uh, Still have a lot of them in the family here now. Uh, my nieces and nephews uh, rodeoing. Travis met yep. a bunch of them last night. Yep. Uh, I, I moved to L.A. and went to UCLA and graduated with an another theater degree, which those are pretty worthless. But, uh, <laughs> it, it, helped me, it helped me get started in L.A. And i probably best known for uh, daytime dramas, uh, otherwise known as soap operas. <laughs> And Which I, two were the biggest ones? You were General Hospital and then Port Charles? Yeah, right? yeah. I started out actually in the 90s on Days of Our Lives and oh, cool. it was a pretty short run there. But then I had a, like a seven year run on um, Port Charles. It was a new spinoff of General Hospital and I lasted, I was the entire run of the show I was on, yeah. on that. Which is awesome. Yeah, which was great. It was a, that was a great gig and a lot of fun. And then after that I went over to General Hospital for a while. And since then, I've done a lot of uh, lifetime movies and independent features and TV guest stars and co-stars. Um, but you've also done some westerns. Yes, so that's what that's. You're leading into that. Yeah, <laughs> that's where I, I was getting. Last year, I was I was lucky enough to have leads in three westerns. Uh, one of them was Travis's, and um, how I'm so so the western thing has been good and is kind of where I would really like to to spend more time and, and do more. Uh, I met Travis through a friend of ours, Vernon Walker. I met, uh, we were, I was doing a, a, another Western at the end of 2019 with Michael Pfeiffer and Vernon was on it and he told me about this, this guy who was doing 12 Westerns <laughs> in 12 months. And I thought, okay, first of all, that's crazy. Yeah. Uh, but I, I want to meet this guy and see if, uh, just see what he's all about, you know? Because he obviously sounds like somebody who is a go-getter and likes to, to get things done. And, and I want to know people like that. Because I have some ideas in the back of my head about possibly uh, a script that I want, want to do. And I, I hit Travis up. Uh, he asked me if I wanted to audition for one of the movies. I asked him if I could audition for one of his movies, and he decided on Heart of the Gun, so I mm -hmm. sent in an audition for him. Yep. Uh, got the role and uh, went to Arizona. First of all, the, the movie was postponed for a long time because of COVID. It ended up being the last of the 12 Westerns. Yeah, I think we were going to do it in June right. originally, and then we had to push it back. And it turned out to be a blessing in disguise because it was my... It was the script that meant the most to me of all the 12. Yeah. It was the most personal. Yeah. So it was kind of cool to do it last. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So. Yeah, and it was, it was a great experience. I loved working with Travis, and it was everything that I hoped it would be. Uh, and I think the movie looks great. I'm really excited for it to come out. Um, and then early this year, I kind of went back to my original plan, and I, I sent Vernon, or sent Vernon, I sent Travis a script. Yep. And say, hey, would you be interested in doing this? And, you know, this is what I'm thinking here. It's, it's a contemporary Western, modern day Western. And I just thought, you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. And within a matter of, I don't know, two days, <laughs> Travis gets back and said, this is good. Let's do it. Right. And I thought, wow, okay. It's a okay. pretty funny conversation. I was, I was in a hotel room in Arkansas during this, like, crazy snow, snowstorm. I'd read it. I'm like, let's talk. I want to do it. I asked you, I'm like, when are you thinking about doing this? You're like, I don't know. I'm like, I think we should do it this year. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. you're like, uh, okay. Uh, uh, exactly how I was. I was kind of like, wait, 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 wait a minute. Uh, and I, I was a little hesitant for a while. Like, God, is, right. You know, the script still needs work. We still have stuff to do. And, you know, we got to get financing and, yeah. you know, all those things. I started questioning all those things and, you know, kind of just wondering if we could pull it off. But through Travis's insistence and like, come on, man, let's, 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 let's do this, which really was great. It really helped me. And uh, we found, we found, uh, you know, Vernon Walker came along and, and helped us out. Yep, Jim Heffel. Jim Heffel came along and helped us out. And those guys have been great. 
Yep. Um, They're going to help us produce the film, and mm -hmm. uh, they also worked on the 12 Westerns. I'm sure many of you know them. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be great to have them out here in Idaho with us. So uh, let me read a couple comments, and then I want to talk a little bit about Soda Springs. Because yeah, I, sure. I want them to, if they don't know that project, Lee Cannon says, can he rope and ride? Mm -hmm. The answer is absolutely. Yes, you did some rodeo stuff. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah. were, you were yeah. a rodeo I was cowboy. an amateur High school, college, amateur rodeo cowboy here in Idaho before I left to uh, to L.A. So. Yeah. John Sheely, who played McCabe, tuned in. Oh, yeah. He really enjoyed working with us. Yeah. Um, cool and guy. then we've got people watching from all over, including the U.K., so that's pretty cool. Oh, that is cool. Um, so, yeah. Um, I'll get back to the comments in a second as long as they, they keep showing up here. Um, so... You know, Treasure Valley, and we'll kind of explain what it's about a little bit, but one of your things was that you made a movie about 10 years ago mm -hmm. called Soda Springs. And everybody, you can watch Soda Springs on Amazon. Yeah. Um, it's free with ads. It's actually through a channel called IMDb TV, but it's, uh, it's, it's free to watch with ads, and it's really good. It's a, it's a powerful, inspirational story. So I highly recommend that you, you check that out. Tom Skerritt is in it which mm -hmm. is really cool. If you don't know the name, you would definitely recognize his face. Alien, Top Gun, um, the remake of High Noon, all kinds of great stuff. So, yeah, so, yeah. anyway, Soda Good. Springs is really cool. And, and that project meant a lot to you. And you kind of wanted to do something that, like a spiritual sequel, not a sequel to the characters, but, you know, yeah, so, yeah. a companion piece a movie. A companion piece, a similar in tone and style. And, yeah. Uh, with the with the themes of redemption and second chances and and uh, inspiration. Yep. You know, I, I I love to tell those kind of stories. That's what Soda Springs was. Uh, I I don't know. I I think I like this one even better. I learned a lot on Soda Springs, mm -hmm. and I tried to take that what I learned and put it into this one. And so, the Soda Springs was a it was a passion project for me. I shot it here in Idaho. We didn't actually shoot it in Soda Springs. We shot it right here in the Treasure Valley. Uh, I just like the name Soda Springs. It's a town in Idaho. but um, <laughs> So that's what, that's what the name is. But the second time around, I thought, okay, if I'm going to shoot in the Treasure Valley, I'm going to call it Treasure Valley. Treasure Valley, yeah. And it's all going to be shot here locally in, in some ranches out in... Uh, and um, just out in the mountains, kind of outside of here. I've kind of moved on to... To Treasure Valley, away from Soda Springs. Right. Is exactly. that okay? <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. Yeah. yeah. That's how these things go. You just kind of naturally progress through the conversation. But yeah. we've been here working on the movie. You know, obviously we've been working on it for months before this, but this is the first time I've gotten a chance to see many of these locations. And other than just driving through, it's my first time in Idaho. And I just want to say that I'm just so impressed with this place mm -hmm. and the people here are just like the salt of the earth. Like everyone I've met is so kind and generous, enthusiastic, just good hearted people, especially I want to shout out to the sheriff of Canyon County, Kieran, Kieran Don Donahue, Donahue. Mm -hmm. is he's been helping Jay line up all these locations before we even got here from ranches to we're, we're going to shoot in his jail. We're going to shoot you know, in, in re a rehab center type place, a little crisis center type place, mm -hmm. all, all kinds of cool spots that he's lined up. And he took us around on, uh, what was it, Friday? Yeah. I think it was Friday. And uh, just, it was amazing. And, and, and the time he's put into it is it's so cool. Yeah, he's been absolutely, like, I don't know if we could have done it without him. Yeah. I'm serious. He, yeah. He's been he's been amazing, and I can't thank him enough. I try I thank him every time I'm I'm with him, but it's truly it's truly incredible what he's done for us, and and it, I've had a great time here with Travis. We've we've gotten to to bond and hang out mm -hmm. and have yep. a lot of laughs and a lot of fun and uh, yep. tease each other and exactly. uh, get to know each other a little better. Yeah, yeah. He's gotten to know my family and meet my sisters and my brother and oh, uh, one of my in, one yeah. of my brothers. Yeah. And those are the other people that are really helpful when it comes to this movie is Jay's family, who still lives here. Um, mm -hmm. Your two brothers and yeah. your two sisters live yeah. here, and they have an amazing family. And brother-in-law, Bob, they're just going to – I can already tell they're going to be such a huge help on this film. They were a help on Soda Springs. Yes, so 100%. Amazing people. So just want to thank Jan, Jenna, Bob, um, all of them, the, the kids too. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's, it's really cool. 
Um, a lot of cool stuff happening. We did a casting call yesterday, yeah. which was which was fun. It was a little, you know, we were a little underwhelmed by the numbers, however, of people that showed up. However, what was cool is even though we didn't get as many people as we wanted, we got the right people. Yes, we did. So yeah. I think we mm -hmm. we have great options for each of those roles. Um, and, you know, everyone knows I like to cast locally, so I'm really excited to get some people uh, uh, here um, yeah. to be in the film, you know. Yeah, and, and there's so many people. Uh, we don't have time to thank them, but we'll, we'll eventually thank them in, yes. in, in different ways, in certain ways. But the people here have been so great. I, I ask for a lot of favors, and I say, hey, do you, would, you, would you mind doing this? Or would you mind doing that? And people have been just absolutely amazing. Jesse Telford, we're staying in her house. Yes, she's yes. a barrel racer. Yeah, she's, she's a professional awesome. she's she's barrel like, racer. Uh, went to the NFR professional. Yeah, twice. Oh and wow, she'll twice. go back again this year. Oh yeah. really? Okay, yeah. cool. Wow. Yeah. She's uh, she's a great girl. She let us just kind of crash here and, and take over. She's gone rodeoing, so we had the house to ourselves. So just it's, it's that kind of generosity that we that we get here and it's making yeah. it a just it's making it a great experience after this weekend i'm feeling really really good about what we've got what our locations what the cast is all coming together yeah um absolutely travis and i have tweaked the script and it, the made, script's just it was already really good but it's just getting better and better just, the more we work on it just I massaging think. it yeah, yeah. yeah it's just yep. so uh i'm really excited really excited to have travis with me here and um, looking forward to it. Yeah, it's gonna be really cool. And, and Nick Fornwalt is shooting the movie, mm -hmm. which is exciting because he worked on Heart of the Gun. He's he's great. We're assembling a really good crew. Um, yeah. Working on a couple recognizable faces. We can't say who, but to cast in the movie. So that's mm -hmm. really exciting. Um, and I hope that we'll be able to announce that in the next two, three weeks. Yeah, you know, so. That hope would so. be really cool. Yeah. Some people who have been in uh, westerns that you would recognize so so that's pretty cool um, what else have we not said <laughs> I'm sure there's I'm sure there's more that we can uh, say I'm, yeah I'm sure there's a lot we'll have to uh, think of what we didn't say and yes, write exactly. it down and say it well, next time not, we get a chance to do this something this is not like the this. last time that I'm going to make you do a live session with me <laughs> okay I get I understand yeah, I had you had to, to kind of twist my arm today I but, did yeah uh, yeah you know, it's been, it's, I'm, I'm glad I did it. It's fun. And uh, it's, it's just great to get the information out there about, uh, about Treasure Valley and start to yeah. build, build the momentum and, and get people interested and looking forward to it. So, well, these it's people good. that watch this um, have been very loyal to me and they've been mm -hmm. some of our top fans and, and followers, supporters throughout the 12 Western. So I really, want to get them involved with Treasure Valley in the same way, you know, and, and really watch our progress and, hey, you know, they, you know, and get to know you and, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, so that's really cool. Um, I'm going to read a couple more comments and then we'll probably sign off. I found it humorous that my cop friend from Mississippi says, you always seem to make friends with cops where you're filming. I'm starting oh, to get funny. suspicious. <laughs> yeah. I just get along with cops yeah. and sheriffs. It's yeah. just... Actually, the sheriff said that I should have been a cop. I know, which exactly. is I was, was going to say that if you didn't. This is, yeah. Which was probably one of the coolest compliments I've gotten in a long time. Mm -hmm. I loved that. Um, then Mike Walker said, didn't get to work on any scenes with Jay and Hart, but I was impressed with his timing as an actor when I went to help out at Castle Dome. Mike was the one who played Timmy who eats the fish. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. And I know wow. you loved, I you loved, loved his, his performance. Work. Yeah, I so, loved his work. So yeah, and the scene with you and Tom, um, yeah. and I love Tom's performance. Also, yeah. all of you guys, that's yeah, a pretty amazing scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've yep. got Tom in, in the movie already. He's been cast and announced. Yep. So uh, so yeah, we're gonna have uh, we'll be back with more info on Treasure Valley, and and I guess I should tell you guys just just a couple updates on the twelve westerns. Uh, still working on Pleasant Valley War. Um, should have that done soon and, and we'll announce the Tempe release dates and then uh, um, the New Frontier premieres this coming Friday. Of course, it's sold out, but really excited to get that out to the public and, and start to see some reactions. So, uh, so yeah, anyway. Um, Jay and I are going to get back to work or rest. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and yeah, thank you so much for watching this Sunday. And thank you, Jay, for uh, you bet. Thank for you. Thank you for, for twisting my arm and <laughs> me do this. I exactly. Thanks, folks. See you next Sunday.